Hi. You're here. Who are you? How and what, you? Wait, 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 what are you doing in my house? Or am I at the wrong address or something? How was your flight? What's going on? Like, who are you? My name is Derek. Okay, um, I'm definitely at the wrong address, so I'll just leave. Sorry. That's me. Mm -hmm. Right there. That's you, that's me, that's us. What the hell is going on? Calm down. Like I said before, I'm Derek, and I'm your husband. Hus what? Husband. Oh. Hello? Hello, Dad, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Dad, please, look, we need to call the police to come to the house right now. Like, right now, there is a madman in the house, a raving madman who claims to be my husband. He even went as far to Photoshop our pictures together. Like, can you imagine? Like, wow. Dad, I don't want him to hurt me. Like, we need to call the police to come right now. He is not a madman. Dad, can't you hear what I'm saying? There is a madman in this house. He's telling the truth. Dad? Why do you sound like you know this person? Ah, oh, Laura. He paid your bride price a month ago. What? I received it with gladness. You both are married traditionally. We actually did the marriage with your picture. You know, with time you will accept him. He's a good man. Hmm? You'll understand him. Okay, my daughter. Bye. What did he say? This can't be reality. Uh, I'm here. Hello, Laura, wake up. It's reality. I'm here. What did you do to my father to make him to agree to this? I'm confused. What do you mean by... I asked you a simple question. What did you do? I didn't do anything. You don't have any atom of shame in you. So in this age and time, you will agree to get married to a woman's picture? Like, are you an illiterate or something? There's no need for insults. I spoke with your father and he said he was going to talk to you. And, you know, he said he did. He did? So in this, your big head, if you think that my father told me or I agreed or anything, wouldn't I have reached out to you or something? Like, listen, Frederick or whatever you call yourself, Go upstairs, pack your things, and get the hell out of my house. Derek, point of correction. Derek, not Frederick. You're even trying to correct me. How freaking dare you? I said go upstairs, pack your sh and get the hell out of my house, now. I made us a fist so that we can eat. Let's start. My bad. <laughs> You're my manners. Sit. I mean, I should be at the head of the table, but who cares? Who's watching? Sit. Let's eat. Where do we start from? No, no, fine. Nah, sir. No, no. I totally understand. And it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. I'll handle her. <laughs> it's not a big deal. I'll handle her very well. You handle who? Sir, um, let me go. Hello? Dad, this madness has got to stop. I'm coming back to the States right away. Hello? Dad? He wow. Really? So you and my father think you can play me like a child, right? You really think you can? I'm leaving. Oh, you're leaving to the States? Like, by air now? No. I'll trek. I really daft. You need to stop insulting me. You need to stop because I can't insult you. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You're a tout. Agbero, you definitely used your black magic on my dad to get him to do something like this. First of all, hmm? it's not Agbero, it's Agbero. Okay? And besides, why don't you want to marry me? Huh? 
Am I not handsome enough for you? I'm the full package, you. I mean, in large size, you want to know, you know what I mean? So, why don't you admire me? What's your educational background? Did you go to secondary school at all? Yes, I did. University? I, I haven't yet. No. So you don't even have a degree? Look here, Frederick. Look. Derek. I will call you whatever I freaking want to call you. My God. I have a bachelor's degree. I have an MSc. I am well educated and highly connected. And I am rich too. You. What do you have? Aside from your large-sized empty package. You want to come and rip where you did not sow, right? But let me tell you one thing. I will get you out of this house and out of our lives, either by hook or by crook. I promise you. Rubbish. Before I left this house, you were eating. And now, you're still eating. <sighs> My goodness. I know men like you. Leeches. Gluton. Come on, driver, accepted to marry me. You must be a very greedy person. Are you done? Am I the one you're asking that stupid question to? You've had a very long day. I can tell. My advice to you, go upstairs, relax, take a shower, calm your nerves. You look very tensed. And who exactly do you think you are to tell me what to do or what not to do? You get what I love, you get what I love, man. Did you just say that to me? Like, are you mad? Are you okay? Hey, Auntie, please. I don't have strength for this. I don't have time. Hmm? Just, just go in, please. Don't break one. Must be very stupid. Oh, God damn it. Like, just take a look at what I have to put up with. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm going to make your stay in this house very, very uncomfortable. Lazy gold digger. What about you? Stupid fool. It's fresh. In my own house. That stupid idiot is making me sleep on the couch. But I don't blame him. It's my father I blame for all of this. He has given him wings. It's not his fault. <sighs> See how uncomfortable it is. What is this? <sighs> uh, you can come and sleep in the room. I'll take the couch. Do you hear what I said? Okay, come and sleep in the room. I'll take the couch. Hey, can I have this? Have you? Leave the duvet for me now. What is this? Why is she trying to kill me? What's the problem? Why are you dressed like this? Just to drop me off at work and you're all suited up like this? 
drop you off. I also work in the company. Which company? Your dad's company. <laughs> With what certification? I took courses, I graduated, and your father employed me. Wait. Who did your black magic for you? I beg your pardon. Don't beg for it. You are a secondary school dropout. What business do you have working in an oil company? It's not always about certificates alone. I do my job very well. Very well. I will deliver my father from your shackles. Don't worry. Why is he so problematic? Come to the front seat. I don't understand. We're going to walk together. The only normal thing is for you to come and sit in front. I'm not your driver. What are you then? Were you not my father's driver before you gave him your black magic? Please stop this black magic thing, please. Please, will you shut up? Enter the car and drive. I'm running late. I'm not going to drive this car till you come and sit in front. I'm not. Who the hell do you think you are to tell me where to sit? In my father's car. Did you buy this car? What gave you the guts in the first place? I'm your husband. <laughs> Good. Hold on. So if I allow it, and I ask you to marry me, you will marry me? No, I won't. I would never be caught dead with a woman like you. You're not even my type. My type? Tall, busty. Not you. Have you looked in the mirror? Did you look at the mirror this morning? No, maybe you didn't. Look at you. Shot round something. Like unfinished bread. I'm only managing you. I am managing you. Take your key and, and drive yourself. Nonsense. to finally have you here, Ma. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, Ma. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ma. What is your name again? My name is Rita. Rita? Yes, Ma. Yeah, I'm so sorry, I can be forgetful sometimes. It's fine, I understand perfectly right. well. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, one more thing, Rita. Um, is there a Derek working within the company? Oh, your husband. Huh? Yes, and he's the only Derek who works in this company. So you all know that we are married? Of course, everybody knows. We were all present at your traditional marriage. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Ma. All right. Bye. Dad, 
Dad, how could you do this to me? Like everyone in the company is calling that stupid driver of yours my husband. They were all present at the traditional marriage. Like, how could you marry me off without my knowledge? Like, who does that, Dad? Who does? Like, out of all the men in the world, it's that stupid, arrogant idiot you would choose for me. That is not fair. It's really not fair. Like, I'm not happy about this. I'm not happy at all. How will I cope with this, with this mess? Speaking of that stupid idiot, calling me the half-baked bread that I'm short. Is he mad? Am I short? Very stupid. Okay. Hello? Perfect height for a woman. Must be very stupid calling me short. Am I short? Stupid, ridiculous buffoon. Calling me short. It must be very stupid. Look, I called you guys one hour ago and you said you were going to deliver my food 20 minutes ago. What is going on? Hello? Hello? <sighs> Hello? I just called you guys now. What's happening? Like, why are you not delivering my food? What's going... Dropping. Why is it so difficult for you to knock? Sorry. Sorry for yourself. What do you want? I made food and I thought maybe you were hungry. Did I tell you I was hungry? So, in other words, you don't want? Exactly. Okay. Easy. Jesus. <sighs> oh, Hello? Where is my food?
I'm not working now. Ah, I need real food. Very nice. Oh my goodness. He's not totally useless then. Oh, this is good. Finish the food though, it's your food. Finish it, nobody stop me. <sighs> Frederick. For the opting time, my name is Derek, not Frederick. Whatever, I have a flat tire. So? Fix it. <laughs> Fix it. <laughs> How is that my problem? Didn't you hear what I said? This car, you drive it to work yourself. It's your responsibility. Listen, I don't, have, to, I don't have time to banter what you just go ahead and fix it for me. <laughs> Watch me go. What am I going to do now? He's actually a very kind man. Maybe I should get to know him better. Nah. He's not up to my class. But does that really matter though? Okay. So today's going to be a long day.
Where are you going to? I didn't know blindness was added to the list of your problems. Don't insult me. I just asked a simple question. And don't you ever ask me any stupid questions ever again. This is not your house. I'm your husband. I deserve to know where you're going to. <laughs> I applaud your big dreams. But Frederick... Derek! Derek! You will not succeed. You hear me? I will make sure you go back to whatever village my father picked you up from. Empty-handed. Let go of me! I'm not going to let go of you. You tell me where you're going to. Why are you dressed like this? Let go of me! Let go of me! Fool. Should I take it upstairs for you? Uh, no. Hold on a bit. Hold on a bit, Derek. Oh, Derek, Derek. How old are you now? About 38? Yes, sir. I'm 38, sir. Hmm. How long has it been you've been working for me? About nine years now. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Nine years. And in all these years, you've never wanted me to do anything for you. You've been happy, contented, doing your job. And that's one trait I like in you, you know. Sir, you, you practically raised me, mm -hmm. giving me everything that I want. Mm -hmm. You put a roof over my head, food on my table. Mm -hmm. What more can I ask for? I don't have any other big dreams mm -hmm. other than to just... I thank you for saying that you're happy here. I'm very happy here. Good. Uh, Derek? Yes, sir. Um, your services here as my driver has been terminated. Daddy. Yes? What did I do? I'm, Daddy, I'm sorry. What did, I didn't do. Get up, Derek. Get up. Get up, Derek. Get up. Oh. Get up. Derek. I'm Sir? sending you on a course. And when you come back, you work for the company. Mm, it's okay, Derek. It's okay. It's okay. Take my bag upstairs and then tell the cook to prepare something for me. I am very hungry. Then you go back to your quarters, all right? Ah, oh, I'm so tired. Why? Wow. Impressive. Thank you, sir. Impressive. Now you can work for the company. Sir? Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. You've earned it. You've earned it. Mm. Derek. Sir? A minute to ask you. Are you in any relationship? Well, of course you're a man. You should be in a relationship. You should be thinking of settling down now. Hmm? Sad to be honest. I know you want to know if I have a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I that's the list of my worries now. I just want to focus on myself, on my growth. I want to be financially stable. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be a burden to anybody, and I don't want to burden anybody as well. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. That's interesting. You know. My daughter has just turned 35. Oh, wow. Mm. And, you know, she's just into books and money making. <laughs> and the way things are going, I'm just afraid she will live alone. And you know the implication? I'm not going to have any grandchild. <laughs> I, I, if you ask me, sir, I don't even think that you should worry because these days, people want to take their time. Mm. People don't want to rush into anything. I'm sure she's probably just taking her time. Mm. That's what I think. Mm. Baby. I want you to marry her. Sir? Mm. 
we don't even know each other. Doesn't matter. When you get married and you're living together, you get to know each other. It's not rocket science. Well, you can go, Derek. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I, well, I can't do this, sir. I can't. What kind of rubbish is this now? It's one small church rat. Come on, be talking to me anyhow. At least, at least I've gotten job. Eh? I've gotten money. I'm seeing small money. Must I marry her? Must I even be in this rubbish? Big, big, big. I can't do this. I can't. I'm not going to do it. For what? Oh, wait, oh. Could I now let this. this small child put Sansan in my diary? I won't. She be his insult. Insult me. Marriage. Let's do it now. I'll do marriage now. No problem. He insults me. He cannot take anything from my body. Can't. Let's do it. This small child. Talk to me now. He's very close to the ground. Oh, watch you down. Oh. Hi. I hope I didn't keep you waiting for too long. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Oh, bless it. Thank you. Wow. I must confess you look much prettier in person than the photographs portray. <laughs> Thank you. I'm flattered. Thank ah, you. Ah. Wow. Drop dead gorgeous. Is what you <laughs> Thank you. So, not as far from flattering me. It's such a drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> it took my breath away. So, was it hard getting here, locating the place? Oh no, it was pretty straightforward. And the traffic? It's decent. Sounds like fun to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, now that you're here, um, let's uh, rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to love and the future. <laughs> Cheers. Do you? So you wanted to know more about me? You sure don't know how to stay. Oh well, of course. Um, your beauty is spell binding. <laughs> Would you blame me? So tell me a little bit more about yourself. You will be amazed. Hello, sir. Your yes. bill, sir. Oh. Bill. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, there you go. So, uh... Sir, your pin. Sure. Well, I like to say that I... I am the kind of a guy who shares enough to engage, okay. but withholds enough to intrigue. So, <laughs> yes? It's not working. What do you mean it's not working? Actually, What's... it says insufficient funds. Insufficient what? Can I have it? Okay, no problem. Let's let's try another one. Got you. So I'll just put it this way. I'm the kind of guy that uh, sure that shares enough to engage and then uh, withholds enough <laughs> to intrigue. So I. Um, you're not drinking. Sir. Dr yes. It says the same thing. Jesus. What? Goodness gracious me. What in the blue hell are you talking about? Insufficient. Insufficient what? Fun, sir. This country is, is becoming something. They're driving me crazy. What nuisance? What the CBN? I don't know. The technology. We're not ready for this. We are not ready. If we are not ready, why embarrass, embarrass well-meaning citizens like this? I mean, I... What is this? The Ministry of Finance, CBN Governor, 
their, their moronic policies and uh, we're not ready for this technology. <sighs> Babe, please, um, can you can you pay her and when we get out, I'll sort you out. What? Um, you heard her. I mean, uh, I think it's the bank, it's the CBN. I don't know. Please, just pay her and then I'll... I don't have an ATM card yet. So how do I... Oh, but I'm sure they will accept transfers. Yes, yes. You do accept transfers. Yes. You just calm down. Don't Stay. you even utter a single word to me. Do you hear me? Are you mad? So you brought me out here just to embarrass me like this? You knew you had no money. So you sent me out to come out on a date. Are you mad? Are you crazy? No, no, no. Listen. You're getting something wrong. You see, you need to be more philosophical about life. Everything is not always what they say. You're freaking broke. Well, even that is impermanent. So it's temporary. It can change. I wanted us to build something, build a momentum for the future. Something that is unbreakable, unshakable, Hello? and eternal. Hello. I need your help. My life is growing by days. Ruin my dates. Hmm. Approved, sir. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day, ma'am. Shall we go? Wait, no, if you that. call me babe one more time, I'm going to punch you in the face. You went on a date with a man. The fact that you came around to help me does not give you the right to ask me any question. Whatever I choose to do is none of your business. You're married. With whose consent? Was I present at this marriage? Like, whatever Sherry you guys did without me is none of my business. And besides, I will never be married to a man like you. What do you mean by a man like me? Why, why, why are you so difficult? Then leave! It's as simple as that. Just walk away. Or hasn't my father helped you enough? Or hasn't he? Leave. Just leave our lives. Your leave. Father, your father wants us to be together, wants this to happen. Well, that is because he has not seen the monster in you yet. Why? How am I a monster? Huh? How am I a monster? Why can't you just give us a chance to be together, like to get to know each other? Rome wasn't built in a day. I have no interest knowing you. And listen, for the duration you have to stay in this house, you better stay off my path. Oh, but when you were in trouble, you called me to come and help you. What if I didn't come? Did I ask you to come? Did I force you to come? Did I force you? Why would you don't expect me to be grateful? <laughs> Did you force me? What is wrong with this girl? Do you, do you, does she drink problem and spits it out on me or what? Bro, 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 listen, yeah? Look, this Lagos, I came to hustle and to make it. And make it, I shall make it. Forget. Whatever she likes, she can be doing. She insults me, do whatever she wants to do. Let her do it. Let her do it. She's a small brat. Anyway, let her do it. I will tolerate her. Whatever she... See, I will, I will tolerate her. I will tolerate her. And the moment I am able to get under her skin, it's all done because her father's wealth becomes my wealth. Basic. No, no problem now. Ah, he's, he's not a tolerator. A manager. This is she's so spot. Very annoying. Bro, let's talk better talk a bit. Half an hour. How that day? Hello. Are you sure everything is in place? I don't want anything to go wrong. Do you understand? I can't afford for anything to go wrong. Okay? I'm calm. I'm just reminding you that everything should be in place. Nothing can go wrong. Okay. 
he, he has to go and stand. I'll be on my way to you now. All right. Hi, Dad. Are you sounding like that? Dad, I'm sounding normal. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm great. How's Derek? Dad, I'm not his guardian. So stop asking me about him. Are you still at loggerheads? I thought you would have sorted it out by now. Never. Not in this life. Look, Dad, I just can't wait for you to return so that I can just leave this place. Seeing his face every day irritates me. Oh. Okay, I know you don't like him. What other reason do you have for hating him? Well, Daddy, that is because you don't know who he truly is. Listen, his plan is to get married to me, and then you will everything to him, and then after that he's going to betray you. I don't know why you can't see him for who he really is. <laughs> ah, Laura. <laughs> Dad, it's not funny. Okay, it's okay. Calm down, it's okay. When I come back, I'll sort everything out, okay? Okay? Okay, I've heard. So how's the company doing? Well, everything is going okay. We've been able to secure some heavy clients. And um, yeah, we need to send you a report with the full details on that. Light has finished. You know the right thing to do is to knock, right? Do you knock before you barge into my room? It's not like there's anything worth looking at in the first place. You need to recharge the light. There's a program I need to watch. Do you take time to process before you open your mouth? Like, if you want to ask me for something, why can't you just do it politely? That's the conscious thing to do. I'm not your puppet. You are whatever I want you to be. Do you understand? If you want to do this dance with me, you're going to lose it. You cannot do more than a dead rat. Wait, you think you can kill my father and I and take over our properties, right? Okay, what are you, what are you saying? Look, I'm aware of all your plans and I want to assure you that it will never, ever work. <laughs> you're quite delusional. And you're very stupid. Did you come into my room to insult me? You need to recharge the lights, fast. Okay, and if I don't do, what will you do? Hmm? Beat me now, what will you do? Shameless thing. It's your uncle that is shameless. You're a fool. You're a fool too. Drop this girl. Hello, Dad. Please, you need to tell that stupid man to recharge the light as soon as possible. Which stupid man are you talking about? Dad, how many stupid men do we know? That Frederick, of course. You mean Derek? Dad, I don't care what his name is. I don't care whatever he's called, okay? Please just tell him to recharge the light. Otherwise, he's going to see another side of me. I'm going to show him real madness if he does not recharge this light today, now. Okay, Alora. I'm just sick and tired of this. Derek? Derek? Please. Richard, the light, please. Um, I know what you're going through, but please, Richard, the light for her, okay? Mr. Ado, there is even no need to apologize. I'm, I just wish she could just show some respect. That's what I'm asking for. It's not a big deal. Like, I don't know why she's always... I understand. I'm really sorry. <clears throat> uh, don't worry. She will come around. Hmm? I thank you for your patience so far. Thank you. I will, sir. I will. I will. I will. 
It's fine, I will do it. I'll do it. How are you doing, sir? Oh, yes. I'm about to go for a run around the neighborhood. <laughs> Your usual. Uh, you know you like to stay healthy. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. We have to be alive, you know. Health is wealth, you know. Yes, true, very true. Okay, then, see you later. Thank you, sir. Take care of yourself as well. Bye, sir. All right. <clears throat> What's the meaning of what? What you just did. And what did I do? It's like you have not losing in your head. But you see who is mad must be very stupid. Are you alright? So you come into the kitchen, take my pot over and you put your own there. What's this now? Like what? Why are you asking me stupid questions? What is this? Ha! This is not trying me, you <laughs> See. Leave this pot Leave my hand. Leave the pot. Leave my hand. Leave the pot. Alright, leave that. Leave the pot. Is it this trouble you're looking for? If you find it, you will run. Run to where? What can an ordinary driver do to me? What will you do? Bloody midget. Shark mouth midget. Did you just call me a midget? Did you just call me a midget? Ma! 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 Yes? The files, they just came in and I need you to look at them. Okay. Where are the files coming from? They came from the branch in Abuja. Okay. And there seem to be a major issue which they are finding hard to fix. Major issue and I haven't been informed about it? Your husband was actually handling them. Derek? Yes, ma'am. You know what? You can leave. I'll take a proper look at this. Okay, thank you. You know what? Send for Mr. Derek. I want to see him at once. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. What? Oh my goodness. What is this? Oh no, 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 no. What? You sent for me? Pick it up, explain that to me. What is this? You don't know what that is? The Abuja branch reached out to you regarding the filtration system, did they not? Yes, they did. And you sent back what report to them? That the filtration system is okay. So you're telling me that you actually went out there and checked and everything was okay? Yes. So why then am I receiving this report telling me that the filtration system affected the end product, thereby resulting in a major loss? That's not possible. I, I checked. Don't tell me you freaking checked. That's the report in your hands you're holding right there. I did not make that up. So all the millions that we've lost, are you going to account for it? This is the height of incompetency. You should be fired for this. Get out of my office. Drop the report right now. Get out. Goodness. Secondary school drop out. I don't understand. I really don't get it. I don't know what my dad was thinking. Just, just, just. What is this? Derek? Oh, you're right, Derek. Oh, well, Rita sent in the wrong report. This report was already submitted a year ago. I don't know why Rita didn't cross-check the date. Anyway, Laura has already received the original from Abuja. 
Oh, you didn't know? I want to ask you a question. Why do you hate me so much? Like, why? Because I've always stayed on my lane. I don't look for your trouble. Why do you hate me so much? What are you talking about? The other day when you thought I screwed up the report, you insulted me, said all manner of things. But then the moment you realized that I was right, you were too big to come and apologize to me. Apologize? For what exactly? It's not like it was my fault either. No, you're... You're so disgusting. Like, your attitude, your character, everything stinks. It's nothing to write home about. Until you think that me marrying you is like I won a lottery. Even with all the money that you have, you would never have someone like me. I can never be interested in someone like you. You know why? Because you don't have any class. The moment your father returns, I'll be out of this place. I'll be gone for good. You can spend the rest of your miserable life being lonely and frustrated. Mm. Bitch. No, see, I'm sick and tired of that girl. Sick and tired. She's she's so annoying, she irritates me. Look, me, me, I can't wait for all of this to be over, so I'll just go back to my normal life. Ah, what is it? <laughs> Stop, I'm, I'm, don't make me laugh. I'm not even trying to be, you just making someone smile, bringing me out of my mood. I miss you. Have you been? I miss you so much. I miss you. Hmm? How have you been? How's everything? <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it. I really miss you. No, no, I'm here. I'm here. I can hear you. Yeah, you're saying. Hey, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow now. Yeah, so see you tomorrow then.
robbing people to be poor, I see. What are you doing here? What exactly is your plan? Like, who the hell are you? Hold on. You mean you followed him here? Oh, yes, I did. You both are so shameless. So you let your husband marry another woman just because of money? You let him cheat a man who took him as his son? Um, Adara, please. You're creating a scene. We'll talk about it when I get home. Which home? I already sent pictures to my father and I've told him to send guys to throw you and your things out. You, you know thief. what your problem is? Do you know what your problem is? Your mouth moves faster than your brain. Excuse you. Excuse you. Jumping into conclusions, every little thing. Makes you very unattractive. Right. So I catch you cheating, and this is the rubbish you have to say to me. Cheating? <laughs> but wait, I thought I wasn't a husband to you. You never saw me as a husband, did you? So how is this cheating? You don't care about me. How is it cheating? You see me with another woman now, it's cheating. Okay, I'm with another woman. You know what? I will tell my father to strip you of everything he gave you. You will regret this. Let me tell you that. He knows about her. What? What? A torment. You need to explain things to her. Explain things to who? To this person? I don't owe any explanations. She's hot. You hurt her. You <laughs> see it in her eyes. She's <laughs> hot. Listen, that girl can never be hurt. She has no heart. How will she be hurt? You think so? Look, Derek. You and her father have done so much for me. Especially you. So I want you to always be happy. Once her father comes back, I'm leaving. Leaving to where? Anywhere. She's going to leave. But you love her. Love who? Love that person. I can never love someone like that. Arrogant, short, midget. Never. She's that very annoying. Calm down. Okay, if you say so. Meanwhile, you. The doctor say you're not going to come for acting It's a lot of medication. Mm -hmm. It's so tiring. Better start going. Don't let anything happen to my goddaughter. Nothing will happen for us. Smolly, let's go inside. Your smolly will soon be a mother. I know. So, my dad knew he was married. Yet he still went ahead to marry me off to him. Like, am I that old or that bad? That he would just marry me off to anybody, any man? <clears throat> What are you doing here? She asked me to come explain things to you because left to me, I won't even say a word to you. And what am I supposed to do with that stupid information? Can you talk like a normal human being for once? Or stop acting like a creature they brought out of the zoo? For once. Can you? Did you just call me an animal? No, I said like a creature from the zoo. But then if that's what you think you are, who am I to argue with the gods? It must be very stupid. Get the hell out of my room. She's not my wife. She was mentally unstable when we found her. Well, I found her actually. And your dad also decided to help. We put her in a home. She started getting better. Eventually she got better. Eventually she was fine. We got a place for her to stay. And recently she was raped and got pregnant. Since then, we've been helping her. Piece of advice for your mental health. Before you jump into conclusions, try to process things with your head. Some salt, then grab the spaghetti and add the pot. Cover the pot and then 
allow to cook till tender. This should take roughly about seven to eight minutes, but be careful not to overcook, okay? Wrap the vegetable oil and add about a quarter cup. What's the actual quantity? Like what quantity? Why are you not saying the quantity? Like? Let me start chopping first. I'll figure it out later. Okay. my address is this how to welcome your love are you mad are you out of your mind what are you doing here what do you want so this is where you live such a magnificent building babe you're richer than i even thought what do you want what i want can we go inside so we can at least talk have you lost your mind or something can you get out of your leave you have no business being here have i lost my man i've always been crazy in love with you let us go in are you okay I said, get the hell out of my house. What's wrong with you? Let's go. Come and hear me out. Listen, is it because of the last time? I didn't have money. I didn't have, as you know it. At least let's go inside. Get, get the Where hell out. Going? Which inside? Which inside are you going? You hear that now? I'll leave now. Okay? <laughs> this man again. You again. Who are you exactly? I'm a husband. Husband? No, she doesn't have a husband. <laughs> she is the husband, you are the wife. Oh, you think I... What nonsense are you speaking from your mouth? You think I don't know that you're, you're a kept man? You're useless. You can't, she's, she's, you're living off her. She's the one providing. You're the one receiving. Will you just shut up and get out of here? Get out! Leave this place right now. But why, why leave, 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 listen. Oh, go! Why, 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 why? Jigolo! Jigolo! You think I don't, you are a twerp. I will sit on you. you are, baby, you are, baby, you are settling for this twerp. You are doing this to me because of this, this kept man. Jigolo, good for nothing. Go and get a life. Go get a life. See ya, look at your head. Jigolo, nonsense. Things that I didn't care. Oh my God! Oh God! 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 When did you start knocking? Are you okay? Because I saw blood on the kitchen counter. What do you care? Are you okay? Okay, I'm, I'm coming in. I didn't ask you to come in. I need to make you. Let me see. Did you disinfect it? But this is not how to treat a wound like this now. It's too deep. Okay, you know what? Just hold on. Let me get you something to use. Hey, hey. Stop crying. You're not a baby.
we have stopped crying. Put this on it. And that's it. In a few days, it will be healed. Thank you. What did you say? I said thank you. It's just very strange hearing it from you considering you've never said anything nice to me. Well, I'm sorry for how badly I've treated you, okay? Where is this coming from? My mouth, obviously. <laughs> I know, I mean... Look, I know what you mean. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought you were here to rip. Look, I thought you were a bad person. And now you think otherwise? Yeah. Why? Why, Alora? Look, I don't know, Frederick. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What? Frederick? Derek! My name is Derek, not Frederick. Well, you can't blame me, they sound alike. They don't. Derek. Frederick. Well, as long as you understand me. It's Derek. Okay, fine. Derek. And I feel like you say this thing to annoy me. You know what you do, but you say it just to annoy me. <laughs> Come on, you're not that important, please. Oh. Okay. <sighs> that came out bad. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I guess I need lessons on how to communicate. Oh, you sure do. <laughs> You're gonna make spaghetti, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll finish it up for you. Why are you being nice to me? Despite everything. I'm going to make spaghetti. For you. My name is Derek. Not Frederick. So, who taught you how to cook? I learned by myself. Okay. I heard that you are an orphan. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. 
It's fine. You know, I um, I heard your phone call with your friend. When I initially came back, I um, I was heading over to the kitchen to see you to mend fences. But then I heard you talking to your friend and you told him that you came to Lagos to make it and you're only going to tolerate me until you get what you wanted. Look, you don't have to marry me to get things from my father. He likes you already and he trusts you. I'm sure that's why he wanted you to marry me in the first place. So it's really going to be unfair if you decide to betray him. I'll never betray your father. Never. He's like a father to me as well. I'm not gonna lie, initially when I was thinking about this whole thing, I was just going to enjoy your father's well, marry you and just basically coast. But then I had a change of mind. You expect me to believe this? No. But time will reveal all things, as they say. Don't worry. Once your father comes, I'll leave. I'll be out of your head. So what changed your mindset? I'm not sure I want to talk about that. I want to know. Even just thinking about it now is, is weird. What do you mean? I fell in love with you. I... I fought the feeling for a long time. I even told myself it was a lie, it wasn't true. But then, the heart wants what the heart wants. Keep fighting. You're in love with me? Yes. I'm not ashamed to say it. That's what real men do. Should eat. <sighs> yeah, right. Come in. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Pain has subsided. So. I see. Can I? Sure. It doesn't hurt as much anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like Swelling that. has gone down. Right. Yeah. With a few painkillers, take a lot of water, rest. You'll be fine. Thank you. I just came to check on you, see how you're doing. Uh, good night. Derek? Uh, please, I would like you to join me in bed tonight. I know.
Which one am I dicing for you? The green or the red? Hmm, the red one. Why do you want the red one? Well, because we just want it. Just because? Mm-hmm. Do you know that the green is actually more healthy? Wow, really? You're just saying that? No, 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 no. See, green is like good life, health, everything. Yes. Red is... If you don't cut this, I'm going to eat it like red that. Red is bloody. I'm going to eat it like that if you don't... <laughs> You're violent. <laughs> yeah, well. Hello? Yes, yeah, speaking. What? What? Okay, okay. I'm, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming. What's wrong? I have to go. What happened? What, what is it? Kate, she's in labor. Okay, then let's go, let's go. Okay. Goodness, that was quite an eventful day. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy that she finally gave birth. You can see that again, babe. <sighs> babe. Yeah? No, no, no. I mean, you called me, babe. You don't want me to call you, babe? No, no. Wait. So you're saying that I'm your babe now? You don't want to be my babe. Well, you've not really asked me to, so you need to ask me the right way, like they do in the movies. <laughs> oh. Alara? Mm -hmm. Would you be my girlfriend? Girlfriend? You don't want to get married? No, you know what? Alara is just fine. What's wrong? <sighs> Nothing. Good night. What? Hang on. What just happened? Babe! Al. What did I do? I was asked to drop this off for you. What's, what is this? Your lunch, ma. From who? From your husband. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm Rita. Yes, ma. Have you had anything to eat? Not yet. I'm about to head out. You know what? You can go ahead and have this. No, ma. It's your lunch. It's okay. I'm not hungry. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. You didn't give this to her again? Yes, I did. But she said she's not hungry yet. Why? She said she's not hungry. Ah. Okay. Okay, enjoy. I will, sir. Thank you. Get you lunch, you give it out. I'm not hungry. Uh, what's with the attitude? I'm not hungry. I thought we talked about this. I've gone past this already now. I'm not giving you any attitude. You are, and you know it. Stop now. If there's something wrong, just tell me. Communicate. That's what we said. What is it? You asked me to be your girlfriend. Yes. You don't want to be my girlfriend. You didn't ask me to marry you. Like, am I that bad? Like, you didn't ask me. <laughs> is that what this is about? That's what this attitude is about. Can you imagine how I must have felt? Look, you love me and I love you and we're already traditionally married. Like, 
I was expecting that you should just ask me so we can just make things official between us. Because I don't want you to think that I'm getting married to you because of your wealth or your father's wealth. I was gonna go away, make some money, then come back and propose to you. I don't want this to be about me gaining from you. Look, I know that you used to think the worst of me, but I trust you now, Derek. Why are you smiling? You pronounced my name correctly. Alara, listen to me. I want to be with you wholeheartedly. And now that you say you trust me, I'm just going to go out there now, get a ring, come back here, propose to you on both ways, maybe. <laughs> So, are you saying that you want to marry me now? Duh! I'm crazy in love with you. Stop on girl. <laughs> Come on, Will you eat now? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> We're good, right? Mm-hmm. I can see you getting on well. Oh my god! I can see you getting on well. Yes. It's actually time for me to plan a wedding. Oh, no, welcome, God. I miss you so to much. See you both get on well. Okay, now let me pray for you, yes, all right? Okay. Now may God bless this union. Amen. May nothing come between you. Amen. May you multiply. Amen. May you have peace. Amen. And may you prosper. Amen. I have to leave you both now. Go into my room to plan a wedding. Oh my god! <laughs> Bye-bye! <laughs> what? No, you crazy. Let's do something Wait, about the wedding. Did you know about it? No? You really know! Nina! Babe! Come, let me tell you about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs>